So we have this function and we want to find the derivative. For some reason, this middle piece threw a lot of students off. If you go back to the beginning when you first learned derivatives and I said you can split up all of these functions, most students don't, most students work left to right. Well, if you're starting to see yourself struggle as the problems are getting more difficult, Maybe I would spend the time and do this, meaning I want to find the derivative of cotangent x minus, whenever I have a constant, I'm going to throw it out front and find the derivative of square roots of 5x, plus I have another constant, and I'm going to find the derivative of e to the negative 7x. And this is for those of you that are, are starting to see as the functions are getting a little more difficult, maybe you need to break it down like this. You need to look at it in parts. Well, the first one is just a pure definition, right? The derivative of cotangent is minus negative cosecant squared x. We have that constant of 3 there. And then we said the derivative of the square root of anything is 1 over 2 square root of the anything times the derivative of the anything. Well, the derivative of the anything is the derivative of 5x, which would be 5. Then we have plus 9. The derivative of e to the anything is e to the anything times the derivative of the anything. Well, the anything is the negative 7x. What's the derivative of negative 7x? Negative 7. So from here now, I can just kind of put all this stuff together. These are, I, I see students like to write like this, so you can see that I'm multiplying straight across. So minus 15 over 2 square root to 5x. And then this last piece, I'm going to simply multiply 9 times negative 7 to get negative 63e to the negative 7x. And again, if you're starting to see you're struggling because you can't break apart these mentally going from left to right, then start breaking them apart like this. There's nothing wrong with doing more steps if it helps you see how to take each derivative individually and definitely throw the constants out front.